the left delegation of member of parliaments visited Manipur and traveled the areas which were affected by the riots, which has ravaged the entire state. We visited the refugee camps, both in the plains and the hills. All these refugee camps had to say stories of trauma, how their lives and livelihoods were devastated. And one interesting facet is that the ethnic clashes took a communal turn also. Churches and temples were targeted, vandalized and burned. We met with a cross-section of the civil society and the general opinion and impression was that the state administration has collapsed completely. The deafening silence of the prime minister is reverberating both in the plains and the hills. People are asking us, has this government considered us orphans? Don't they consider us part of India? Why is it that the Prime Minister has not opened his mouth even once? The Biren Singh, the Chief Minister of Manipur, has completely lost legitimacy, credibility and trust of the people. And he is one of the major impediment in the restoration of peace and tranquility in the state. The feedback suggests that there has been a churning in Manipur where the RSS and the BJP was consciously trying to create polarization amongst different communities. There has been claims and counterclaims from different sections. Metis say that they are being threatened because they cannot buy land in hills and despite being the majority population, they are relegated to 10% of the geographical entity of Manipur. At the same time, cookies say that they are being tarnished, they are being depicted as encroachers, infiltrators and uh, opium cultivators. There is a sad state of affairs in Manipur. Despite the fact that 60,000 armed personnel has been deployed there, the violence continue unabated. Manipur is on fire for last more than two months. The normal dictum is that no riot can continue more than 24 hours unless the dominant ideology or the government wants it. The state has been on fire for last two months or more, but there has been no effective step from the part of the center or the state government to ensure that normalcy is restored. The delegation visited many locations which have been ravaged very badly due to the riots. We understand that the suspicion has grown many fold and there is a wall of mistrust and distrust between several communities. It is imperative that Beren Singh quit and the administration is effective enough to bring in different sections of the people so that Manipur is brought from the edge. The situation in Manipur has got far-reaching consequences not only for the Northeast but also for the entire nation. We cannot allow a state like Manipur, which is supposed to be the jewel of India, to burn incessantly.